Hello friends and welcome to your adventure compass. Today we're in Ann Arbor, Michigan and we're gonna do a food video at the Soul Garden. Now I did put out a poll last week asking people what they'd like to see on this channel, what type of videos and whatnot. Overwhelmingly the, uh, the, the few that have responded to the poll have decided that uh, they want to see more indoor activities um, different things to do inside but not museums unfortunately I had something planned to go either way whether it was food reviews or inside activities and the inside activity that I had thought would be perfect is closed right now so uh, we're gonna get to some more indoor activities I do have a few coming up unfortunately in Michigan a lot of these places uh, they close up for the winter time uh, which seems strange to me, but I guess it makes sense because heating costs are high in the winter. So some of the places I'd like to show you guys are not going to be available until spring, until it warms up a little bit. But today we're going to do a food video. We're doing uh, Korean barbecue. I've never actually had Korean barbecue. I've, I've made it at home before, but I'm sure it's quite different. So we're going to check this out. Come along with us. All right, well, we just got seated and the inside is decorated pretty nice. I understand they've remodeled recently. Kind of a, a nice uh, modern clean look to it. One other thing I wanted to point out, in case you're wondering where all that smoke's gonna go, there is a hood above us, so the smoke is gonna go up and out. We don't have to worry about that. I thought I would bypass some of the noise in this area of the video and just go ahead and re-overdub the audio of me talking about the menu. And right here you can see at the top they have shareables, which are your appetizers. And they have different things on there, popcorn chicken and shrimp and dumplings and things like that. In the middle of the menu, they have a section called For the Grill and it lists all their combinations, combo A, combo B. They have a course for two, a course for four, and then they have some specialty combos and my favorite favorite part of the menu is the bottom where it's just says meat and meat and it's basically all meats they have all kinds of different things at the bottom there they have uh, pork and chicken and beef and shrimp and all that good stuff and then at the very bottom a couple of desserts now the combo that we decided to go with is called the go blue it features kalbi bulgogi honey barbecue pork spicy pork barbecue chicken and spicy chicken each combo is served with homemade side dishes, mixed green salad, and sea salts, as you'll see in just a moment. All right, well, they just brought out an assortment of different things for us to try in here. We have some rice, and it looks like maybe there's black beans in it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, here's some sea salt and oil. Uh, I believe this is fish cake. This is bean paste. I think he said this was pumpkin. I could be wrong. Over here we have the kimchi. Uh, there's some sort of potato over here. Uh, some broccoli. And I don't recall what that one is. All right, well they just brought out our platters of meat and they look delicious. Over here we've got bulgogi. Uh, then some sort of uh, pork. I think he said this was the uh, honey pork. Next to that we have the kalbi some vegetables over here uh, looks like some onions some mushrooms and maybe some bamboo shoots then over here we have our chicken honey chicken and a spicy chicken and the spicy pork it is time to get this feast going I'm gonna start with a little of the kalbi and we're gonna put just a little bit over here it looks like it's uh, not quite hot enough yet. It's just starting to steam a little bit. And definitely want to put some of these veggies on here as well. I have a feeling they're going to take a little bit longer to cook. It smells absolutely delicious. And also over here, we're gonna put some uh, bulgogi on the grill as well. And we'll get some of this chicken going as well over here. All right, 
right, we're gonna start with that. All right, here we go. We've got our Calvi and our Bulgogi. We're gonna try this out. I'm gonna take some of the uh, Calvi. It's not moving and uh, dip it into some of the sea salts with the oils here and we'll give it a shot. Oh, look at that sizzle. Oh, that looks so good. Absolutely delicious. Alright, now we've got a little kimchi, a little pork, and a little rice. Let's try this out. Guys, this food is just amazing. It's so good. If you want a food adventure, this is it. When you take that pork, you dip it in that sea salt oil, it cuts through the fattiness. Oh, that is absolutely good. Check that out, guys. There's some pumpkin. We'll put on the grill, soften it up a little bit, warm it up. It is delicious. And look at all those meats still left. Oh my gosh, and we are getting close to full already. There's so much left. One other thing I forgot to mention is this salad. It's a mixed green salad. They brought this over to us after they brought all the sides out. And this salad has a little bit of a kick to it. You can see there's little red pepper flakes in there, but it is delicious. Well guys, I am stuffed. That meal was awesome. If you're looking for a food adventure, this this right here, this is it. This is where you want to go. Um, food was excellent. Soul Garden here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I, if you guys have seen some of our other food adventures, we've done a few. I think the other one that was probably one of our biggest was when we went to Royal Pot in Lansing and it's a hot pot, Chinese hot pot restaurant. That was phenomenal as well. Guys, we really enjoyed our food here at the Seoul Garden Korean Barbecue here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And now we're headed down to a different spot in downtown Ann Arbor, so the adventure is not over yet. Well guys, we decided our next stop would be downtown Ann Arbor, and what for? We have to finish our meal off with some bubble tea, and we're down here over at Jasmine to go get a bubble tea, so join us. Now we've been to this location before, but I don't know if it was the same name or if the name has changed see what we can get. And here's a quick look at their menu. Alright, so here's what we ended up getting. Here's the mango grapefruit saga. And I ended up getting the Thai milk tea, which is like Thai iced tea, which is exactly what I was looking for. Well guys, we had a great time today. We enjoyed Soul Garden. The Korean barbecue is excellent. And we enjoyed our bubble teas and in my case, my Thai iced tea from Jasmine. And I was right, this used to be a different location. I think it was called Chat Time before, prior to Jasmine taking over. We were here in the spring, uh, down here for a concert, came down and stopped in here to get some bubble tea and it was a different owner at the time. So they've got new owners. Uh, menu's a little bit different, took us a little bit to get used to that, but still very good. And even better, the service was top-notch. They were awesome, they took good care of us. So we had a good time and we enjoyed our bubble teas. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click on that compass so you can stay subscribed to future videos just like this one. And remember, adventure is just a short drive away.